And finally, a spin move now back underneath. And the up and over the outstretched hands of the 9 o'clock contest ending at 11 o'clock at night. Pull up jumper, nothing but net. And the way Stier down gets that out to Nichols, the Chicago native. He pulls up for the jumper, realizing he's got some space and nails. Seconds left on the clock for the Black Bears here on the shot clock. Howard just realizing that one, throws that one up and a beautiful team, but really haven't had much to cheer about in this early parts of this contest as that one nailed by number 20 against Bernstein. Bernstein does a good job not to draw the foul. An offensive board, the putback is up and in. Travis Charles, the red shirt. Bernstein breaks that little trap, now out to Evans. Swung around, three-pointer for Howard. That one around and down. The Black Bears hit one from long. Underneath now, Nichols working in on Ashley. Pulls up for the jumper, banks it in. It might be some. Under four minutes to play, a deep three-pointer from Bernstein. Nothing but net there, so. Back to Nichols, he'll drive in, going against Melbourne. Three-point attempt from Cremo, around and down it goes. And the town. 30-second differential between shot and game clock. Nichols draws the foul, banks it in. What a performance from that. A deflection by the Black Bears on defense. So the half already starting off strong for the Black Bears. Then the jumper on the right baseline is play. And Maine got two quick stops in a row. Let's see if they can make it three. Unable to at this point. They got to continue to keep working and getting real good shots. A rare three from Andrew Fleming is missed, but a nice follow right up. Now in favor of Albany, a 24 point lead for the Great Danes. And a bid to make it larger will be answered. Now 17 seconds on the shot clock. Bernstein trying to find a seam, dishes out to Danny Evans, who banks that one in. Pace. He made the Albany defender help. And then a block on the other end. Clean. Black Bears get the ball back. Now swung around to Howard. He drives in, gets that one up and under, and a beautiful move towards the basket by Austin. Now, but eventually the ball got swung around and the lob was there. Easy two points. Danny Evans hits that three-pointer from the left wing. And the Black Fleming trying to get that one, but back in the hands of Howard. Now swung around. The three-pointer for Garvey Melman, and it's good! There wasn't able to corral the defensive rebound. Gave Maine an extra chance. But just like that, Enema comes in. Gets it over to Howard. Howard back to Ashley for three. Got it! Nice possession there for Maine. Primo for three. He's got it! Fleming. Crowd's starting to come alive a little bit on this deep three-pointer from Howard, and he hits it. Troy Reed Knight, who's missed the whole season with a broken foot, and also Garrett Beal as Andrew Fleming hit their ninth win in conference in the season. They will hold sole possession of that third place. 240 remaining in this contest as Nichols drives up, gets the bat. We have 70 seconds left to go before this one is over, and Albany moves to 18 and 11. And nine in. Ashley now to Ward. He pulls up for the deep three-pointer and he hits it. If he got to a situation where he took the charge, he'd be looking at getting the basketball for his team instead of giving them a chance at an offensive rebound.